Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We had a robbery that just occurred on the north side. The actors uh, basically took someone's vehicle. They're supposed to have a shotgun on them. George 15 put me out Matching a uh, the vehicle they took was a teal green Chevrolet with a dent on the uh, either driver or passenger side of the vehicle. And right now this vehicle matches that description. George 214, uh, we're northbound on East Rosedale, approaching the uh, I-35 uh, service road. <clears throat> we're gonna try to wait till I can get a, till I get a backup, and as soon as I get a uh, unit to assist me, George, we're gonna make a stop on this vehicle. All right, we just turned northbound onto the service road. He's indicating he's gonna be turning onto the uh, I-35 right now, going northbound. We're on the exit right now. The north gate was in her George 5, and they said it's not good. Looks like it's possibly yours, sir. 10-4, we're going to go ahead and just uh, make a traffic stop here shortly just to check it out. Is that a teal green Silverado? Yeah, 10-4, it's either going to be a Silverado or a GMC, but it kind of matches the description all the way down to the dent that was supposed to be on the uh, driver or passenger side door. Are you certain that's possibly the vehicle, two black males and a white female? Okay, it's occupied two times, two black males. Uh, can't tell if it's occupied by a white female. Right now, we're still northbound on I-35, uh, crossing over 30. If you can get with north and maybe see if we can get uh, someone to get on here and get me a uh, assist before we stop it. 87 right now, crossing 30. I'll be with you in a second. They said that the uh, vehicle is also supposed to be occupied by a white female. Yeah, it's got a North Texas sticker in the back window. All right, I'm going to go ahead and light them up. Stand where the channel will be close. Uh, Rick, again, this is going to be Henry George. And yeah, we're stopping now. Stand for be advisor possible signal 32 and shotgun. Just been informed that George, 18, I'm with them. those suspects are supposed to be uh, armed with a uh, sawed off shotgun. We're just going to check it out and make sure these aren't those actors that were responsible for that uh, aggravated robbery. Hey, good afternoon. How you doing? Where you guys coming from? George 214, keep it close. It's going to be them. They got a white female inside the passenger. Here to see everybody's hands. We see your hands right now up there. Everybody's hands. Bam, put your hands up there where I can see them right now. Get over there. Let me see your hands. Keep them up right there. Do not move. You understand me? Keep them right there. Sir, are there any weapons in this car right now? You're not lying to me? Huh? Just keep your hands where I can see them, all right? Yeah, go ahead and get her out of the car. Get out. You. Out. You stay right there. Speed, you got her? There's a shotgun right there that uh, George 214. We've got the shotgun in custody. It's going to pretty much be the same ones. Shotgun is. You got no ID, right? Go ahead and uh, Speed, you go put it back in your car? She didn't have anything on her. 
These aren't going to be those suspects that were involved in that uh, aggravated robbery. We had someone who said that their vehicle was stolen uh, with a shotgun, two black female, correction, two black males and a female. And like I said, we found a shotgun in the vehicle, two black males, a white female. So this is going to be a good catch. We pretty much got the uh, vehicle back to that owner. Right now, we're just uh, field interviewing everyone right now and searching the vehicle for anything else. So why don't you come back here and have a seat in this car? Is this his? Uh, come on back here. Okay, you're not the owner of that vehicle, are you? Huh? He just, he just rented it. He rented the truck? What did he rent him for? He rented it, I think he rented it for $50. Was this a dope deal or anything? Uh, I just got one where is the owner of that truck right now? Right there in Riverside. Right, right there at the house. Who pulled the gun on him and took his truck? Nobody pulled the gun. The owner of the house had a shotgun on the side, and he um, he grabbed the gun. He said, well, I want $100. George, he grabbed it and he pointed at that guy. Mm -hmm. He said, well, give him the keys then. And he went outside, and he fixed the, uh, opened the door, and he got into it again, and he took the point at him. That guy right there, he, uh, so basically, the owner of the truck let someone borrow it. Yeah. When the guy brought it back, the owner wanted a hundred dollars for the truck, and the guy said no. Is that right? Okay. Well, right now, right now you're under arrest for aggravated robbery. You understand? Okay. Okay. Well, just, I'm just letting you know what's going on. All right. Okay. How do you know that lady, that Who's female, was in female? there for you? That's uh, that's his uh, girlfriend. What's Who's your friend? What's her name? What's his? The guy that was in the front seat. How do you know him? I know him. Been on for years. They call him his name. Uh, okay. And the white female, that's his girlfriend. Come back in here and have a seat. I don't want to have nothing to do with the robbery. Uh, right now, the uh, can we uh, can have a seat, sir? We just been found out that uh, one of the occupants of the vehicle that was stolen has a warrant out for his arrest. So we're going to hook him up on that. He'll be going to jail. The female, which is in the back of this car right now, she also has a warrant out for her arrest, and uh, she's also going to be going to jail. The prime actor in this whole thing uh, was the driver of the vehicle, and from what we've been told, he's going to be charged with aggravated uh, robbery with a deadly weapon. So uh, this is a pretty good day for the Fort Worth Police Department. We've got uh, three actors in custody, and uh, they're all going to be taking a trip down to the, to the jail. Well, I'm very conscious of the fact that uh, I'm getting older, and the young guys that I'm chasing pretty much stay the same. because. The criminals always tend to be a younger type guy. Uh, so I try my best to stay in shape. I, uh, I work out uh, five to six days a week. I ride uh, a bicycle uh, quite often. Uh, like this summer, I've been riding six days a week on my bike, getting ready for a 100-mile race that I'm uh, going to participate in. Uh, it'll be my first attempt at a century. Uh, we're going to be going right now into uh, Buck Sanson Park. We've been getting a lot of reports of uh, guns in, in the park. Uh, the park's closed at 11.30. Most of the parks in Fort Worth are closed at, at 11.30. And so anybody there uh, is going to be in violation of our park curfew ordinance. Uh, we're going to go in there and see if we can find anybody with a gun. They definitely don't need to be in a park or anywhere with a gun. And here's a car now. And we may have a couple of young lovers, it appears like. Well, hello. How is everybody? What are you doing with a child in the car and your pants down around your ankles? Yeah, why don't you tell me the truth? Good. Why don't you do that for me? Good. What's going on? What's he mean, my wife? We, you know, Bill. I got a lot of problems with my wife. Uh huh. And, uh, you know, we trying to be together. I can, I can show my, you know, here's my wife, my wife car. Uh huh. And we can take you where I live at. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all want to take me home? Or y'all want to take me to jail? That's okay. 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 Uh, is this your wife? No, that's my, my ex. This is your ex? Yeah. yeah. Who's the child belong to? Her? Okay. okay. Where's your wife now? She's at home. 
She's at home? Yeah, because we got our problem. I came looking for Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's real adult. Yeah. You have a problem with your wife, you go find your, your ex-girlfriend. I can tell you the truth. You can take me home. And, you know, I can play in front of her. Mm-hmm. Uh, Do you have any ID, sir? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I'd like to see that for me, please. Uh, can you do my favor? Uh, what? what? One really, really honest help. I don't know y'all can help me. Gorda, tell her that, Gorda. Yeah, don't talk to her in Spanish. I don't need to hear you talking to her in Spanish, telling her what to tell me, okay? Hey. Matter of fact, hey. why don't you go stand over there by my car right yeah. now? Yeah, why not? Thank you. Do you realize that it's probably not the best thing in the world to be doing any type of sexual activity in front of a child? Sorry, I've got a little problem with that, okay? Okay. Eric. I've got a little problem with you, uh, getting your jollies in front of the kid, okay? That's not cool. Well, apparently you don't because you're you're out here doing that. It's a very good thing I didn't see anything because if I had I seen something, you'd be going to jail for sure for public lewdness. Okay, take care of my business first. Uh, what I've done is issued you one citation for a park curfew violation. I need you to sign right there. It's not a plea of guilty. It's just a promise that you'll take care of it within 11 days. And instructions on how to take care of it are on the back, plus a phone number to call in case you have any questions. Okay. So all this started because you had a problem with your wife tonight? Yeah. Well, my stepdaughter. My, you know. Your stepdaughter? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been married? Well, I, I, I'm not married with her. Not with her? Not with her. But not you're, with you're married to the not other one? Not with the one I live right now. You're not married to her? I'm not you've been, married. You've been living with her for a year, yeah, though? Yeah, I'm living with her. So you're common law married? Yeah, like... Okay, so you're married. six months is married. Well, I'm saying that you, present, you present yourself as a couple in Texas, and you're, she you're married. She don't know. She thought I was asleep. You know, well, when I, when I'm how, how, let me ask you a question. How is cheating on her going to help the situation at home? Because, you know, i got a lot of problems, like before. And how is this going to help your problems? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go back with her and, you know, move over to Houston. So you're trying to trying to leave the one you're living with now and get back with her? No. I want to talk to her and she, you know, is she, is she really, because, see, we're talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. But see, my, my ex father get mad. Mm -hmm. When she come at the house, cause mm -hmm. I'm child support. Mm -hmm. But she always get mad cause she come at the house, and she, when she call me, the baby is, is sick. She mad at me. Mm -hmm. I'm not crying only cause you know with this happen. Sure, sure. No, I understand. I'm not. Cause I love my baby. That's why God put here looking for. Okay. You love this woman here? Yes. No, well, really, I don't know. I don't know. You love both one. of them. Yeah, I don't know which one I love. Cheating on the woman you're living with ain't going to help the problem. It's going to make a yeah, problem even bigger. Okay. Wife, the second no. issue I want to address with you is, man, that, <laughs> there ain't no way you need to be out here having sex with a child in the car. Okay. If you've made up your mind that you're going to cheat on this woman, that's your business. But when you're coming out in the public park with a child in the car, it becomes my business. Yeah, okay. I'm wrong. I don't want to see this again. Okay, it's wrong. over, okay? okay? I'm okay. Wrong. What I need you to do is I need you to get in that car, I need you to take them home, and then you get yourself home, okay? Uh, she's she's 30, 37 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm about 24, 25 years old. She's mm -hmm. about 10, 12 years old, older than me. Mm -hmm. But I love my baby and nobody. It can be a judge, it can be you, anybody. It's gonna change my life. I love my baby. I hope you do. I give my life for my baby. My baby come first. No woman comes first to me. Okay. Okay. That's good news. I'm glad to hear you say that. Okay. I really am. Thank you, sir. Okay. Take care, guy. You don't want good luck. Eric. Yeah. No. Good luck, Eric. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. Adios. When I'm not working, you know, I like to um, try to keep myself in shape as much as possible. Uh, one of my favorite hobbies has got to be bicycle riding. Um, I take that pretty serious. Actually, I used to, uh, you know, do it quite a bit. You know, competing bike races, long distance races, and stuff like that. Uh, 
I think the most I've ever done in one day is probably 120 miles, which I did up in New York. And uh, York. it's just a great endurance exercise for the police officer out here. So that's what I do out here to keep myself in shape. 10 4 one, six, two, seven, eight, four, eight. I'm going to make a traffic stop four, here nine, on this van. Uh, it just left one of our uh, known drug houses. Five, like it's going to be occupied by a white male. As it was coming out onto the road, it didn't use a turn signal. So, make a traffic stop here and uh, he's trying to get out of the van now. Sorry, get back in the van. Get back in the van, have a seat. George 214. George 214, can you copy 51? I'm going to be at with Texas related plate. One. I'm going to be out about approximately the 2000 block. Yeah, the guy's trying to get out of that bed. A lot of times when they do that, it's because they maybe have something inside they don't want you to look at. Hey, good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? Pretty good. How you doing today? Pretty good. How you doing, sir? Can I see your uh, driver's license, proof of insurance, please? How you doing, ma'am? Is this address still correct? Uh, yes, sir. It is? Ma'am, do you have any ID on you? No. You don't? Okay, can I ask you to step, step out of the van, please? I need to talk to you here a little bit. If you would, just step over here in front of the van for me on the sidewalk. Stay out of the road. Right over there, ma'am, on the sidewalk for me. Thank you. Ma'am, step out of the street. Step onto the sidewalk. There you go. I want you to get hit. Where are you coming from? Right up road. Yeah, there's an old van sitting up there, and I was trying to find her old woman out there the other day. Is that right? I'm trying, trying to see if I can get it from her. Okay, how do you how do you know this lady right here? She wants to ride up there in the morning, so I can drop her off. Oh, she just wants to ride? Yes, sir. Is that right? <laughs> what street did you come off of Rosedale? Uh, on about three blocks this side. Is that right? Let me ask you this. Yes, sir. Is she a prostitute? I'm just asking you. You don't know. Okay, I look, sure. Liz, let me tell you something. You need to be straight up with me, you understand? Because yes, I'm going to ask you the same questions I'm asking you. I may know her already, okay? Because I know what street you came off of, and I know what goes on down there. If I find out you're lying to me, you're just going to get yourself in more trouble. If you come clean with me, the only thing you might get out of this is a ticket. You understand me? Yes. Now, I'm going to give you one more chance to come straight with me, you understand? Well, I was going to pop a question to her. You were going to pop a question to her? What were you going to ask her? I'm sorry, sir? To see if she'd do anything? What did you want her to do? So you wanted her to commit oral sex on you? If, if, she, if she was willing to? Yeah. And uh, how much were you willing to pay her for this? For her to perform oral sex on you? I don't you don't know? <laughs> Never had a chance to ask her. Okay, man, well, I'll tell you what. Could you do me a favor? I need you to step out of the van and step over here, okay? I appreciate you being honest with me. Come out right over here, sir. Do me a favor and stand right over there. On that side. Ma'am, can I talk to you, please? Yes. How do you know this gentleman right here? He was giving me a ride to my uncle's house up here off of Ramsey. Off of Ramsey? Uh -huh. Okay, where did he pick you up at? Off of Irma. Off of Irma? Did he tell you that? Yeah. Uh, well, no, he didn't tell me so many ways. Irma's okay, he told me. I was he walking told me. down the street, I asked him, could I get a ride? Is that right? That's good. Okay, now don't take this wrong, but I'm going to ask you a question, okay? He came He came straight with me. He told me why he picked you up or what he was a, what is his legend to do with you, okay? Now, are you a prostitute? No, I'm not. You're not? I'm not. Do you have I'm any idea? Have no worse sex, so I'm not. What are you having? Uh, it's just uh, my radio and my money since I don't have anything. You keep your money inside that radio like yeah. that? That's I just had. It. I just picked this up. I found it on the street. You found it on the street? In my little lingerie top. That's all. Do you have anything in here I need to know about? I don't about? have any. No dope. No dope? That's a lingerie top. Yeah, don't you open that. See? Take that out for me. See, lingerie top. That's all I have. Okay. You don't have any ID on you at all? I don't have any ID. I can give you my name. Yes, None at all? No. Okay. Well, he told me that he picked you up because he was going to ask you to perform oral sex well, on him. Well, he never did ask, and I don't do oral sex. So I was just getting a ride. You were just getting a ride? Just be honest with you. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? Right now, with all the totality of the facts and circumstances and where he picked you up at, that's a high area for prostitutes, okay? And if he went through there and picked you up, that's probably what his right intentions were. 
but I was going to my uncle's house, just like I told you. Is that right? Yeah. Well, like I said, he, he was. He said he picked you up because you know basically he thinks you're a prostitute. And like I said, in the facts and circumstances of everything, I think it's probably what y'all were going to do. He picks you up. Where are y'all headed to right now? Oh, we said on Ramsey. On oh, Ramsey. Yes. Okay, well, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to issue a citation. I'm going to issue him a citation. Okay, you'll be issued a citation for solicitation of prostitution. He'll be issued one for criminal attempt prostitution. You understand? I want you to give this officer your name and any information he needs. Hey, uh, Ken, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Go ahead and get some information from her. I'm going to go cite her a citation for uh, man manifestation of prostitution. I'm going to issue him for a criminal attempt prostitution. He, he was kind of hesitant on what he was going to do with her, but he kind of came straight with me. And you know how that goes. We see that a lot out here. Go ahead and get with this officer, okay? I'm going to talk to this guy over here. If you don't take care of this citation within 11 days, I may have a warrant out for your arrest. If you have any questions, there's an address and number on the back of your copy. This is not an admission of guilt. It's just a promise and appear to take care of it within those 11 days. I need your signature right there by that X. Just go down here to the courthouse. You just go down here to the courthouse. The address is on the back of your copy. And like you were telling me, I hope you don't. I hope I don't see you out here again doing the same thing. Okay. Just think about what I told you. The risk you're taking every time you're out here trying to pick up a prostitute. Okay. If you think it's worth getting AIDS, HIV, or any of those uh, sexually transmitted diseases, knock yourself out. If I catch you out here doing it again, you can guarantee you I'm going to give you the same ticket. And that's a pretty expensive ticket. I, can't, I wouldn't even be able to afford it. All right? You're free to go. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. David 2514. Ted, transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send it code 3.